All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this problem, we are going to take a look at another geometry application that involves finding a missing value using some of our geometry knowledge we can actually solve for missing lengths. So let's take a look at the problem. Okay, it looks a little imposing, I will admit, and agree with you. So let's take it one piece at a time and see what it says. Here's what we're given. If LK is congruent to MK and LK equals 7X minus 10 and KN equals X plus 3 and MN equals 9X minus 11 and KJ equals 28, find LJ. Okay, it's a really long sentence. So let's actually break this thing down and label our picture here so it makes a little bit more sense. First of all, let's talk about terminology. This symbol right here, this equal sign with a squiggly line over it, means congruent. It means that they're the same. So whatever the distance of LK is, it's equal to the distance of MK. Looking on the picture here, we see LK and MK. And as you see, there's this little hash mark on both of these lines. And that means that they're equal to one another. So whenever you see a little dash or hash mark on the line, it means that those lines are equal or congruent. All right? So let's start labeling. It says LK is congruent to MK. So, and then it tells us what LK is. LK equals 7X minus 10. So let's label that. The distance from L to K is 7X minus 10. Okay, what else does it tell us? It says the distance from K to N is X plus 3. That's right here, K to N. So let's label that. X plus 3. Okay, so far so good. What else does it tell us? It tells us the whole distance from M all the way over to N is 9X minus 11. All right, we'll hold off on labeling anything just yet there. And then finally, KJ equals 28. K to J. The distance from K to J equals 28. So up here we'll write 28. All right, so let's set this up verbally first, and then we'll start writing. Remember, the key to this whole problem is that LK is equal to MK. So this distance is equal to this distance, and they give us something for this distance. They give us that LK is 7X minus 10. Therefore, if LK is congruent to MK and LK equals 7X minus 10, then MK equals 7X minus 10. So we can actually label MK as 7X minus 10. Okay, so far so good. Now, we were given right up here that MN, that's from here to here, this whole length is equal to 9X minus 11. But we've also been able to tell that m to n is equal to the sum of m to k plus k to n, and that's segment addition, all right? So 7x minus 10 plus x plus 3 is equal to 9x minus 11. Now, that's going to allow us to solve for x, so let's do that first. Let's write it out. So let's write out 7x minus 10 plus x plus 3 equals 9x minus 11. Okay, and just to reiterate, 7x minus 10 is the distance from m to k, x plus 3 is the distance from k to n, 
and that is equal to the whole distance from m to n right here, okay? m to n. So now we can just solve this little algebra problem. Not too bad at all. So I'll start by moving all of my whole numbers over to the right side and moving all of my values that have x's over to the left side. So I guess first we'll just take it, we'll subtract out the 3, subtract 3 from both sides, and we'll just do one step at a time right now, okay? So 3 minus 3 is 0, and negative 11 minus 3, think about this, you have negative 11, okay? So you're moving, you're going to subtract 3 from it, so you're moving to the left on the number line. So it's going to become a larger magnitude negative value. So you're essentially adding 11 and 3 and putting a negative sign in front of it. So negative 11 minus 3 is negative 14. Okay, let's rewrite, just so we have everything clear. We don't want any confusion. We'll rewrite 7x minus 10 plus x equals 9x minus 14. What should we do next? Well, let's get this whole number 10 over here. Right now it's a minus 10, so we'll add it. We'll add 10 to both sides. Make sure that you are lining up these numbers that you're adding. Draw a line and let's do the math. Negative 10 plus 10 is 0. And negative 14 plus 10, think about this now. You have negative 14, so you're way over here. You're going to add 10 to it. So negative 14 plus 10 is negative 4. Okay, so there's negative 4. Let's take a break and rewrite. We now have 7x plus x equals 9x minus 4. Okay, this problem is just getting simpler and simpler. So now we're getting down to where we need to move this 9x over to be with his other friends, the x's on the left side of the equation. So we will subtract 9x from both sides. And what I want to do here is I want to do something a little bit different. First, I want to show that on the right side of the equation, 9x minus 9x equals 0. And what I want to do now is just rewrite everything. 7x plus x minus 9x on the left side. So you can see what, what we have to do next. 7x plus x minus 9x equals negative 4. Now in order to combine all of these like terms, we have uh, 7x plus x, which we know is 1x, minus 9x. We have to remember PEMDAS, okay? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. At the end there, it's the most important part. First it says do the addition, then it says do the subtraction. So first we're going to add 7x plus x, which gives us 8x, and then we will subtract 9x from that. So what is 8x minus 9x? What you do is you subtract the coefficients. So you just subtract 9 from 8. And that gives us negative x. Okay? Negative 1x. We don't write the 1. But 8 minus 9 is negative 1, so we write negative x, negative 1x in our brains, equals negative 4. All right, so now we have to get rid of that negative sign. And we can do it one of two ways. We can either multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1, or we can divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. 
I'm going to do the division. And just for the purposes of making it really clear, I want you to remember that there's a 1 right there. So in order to get rid of that negative 1, I have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. And what I'm left with is x equals positive 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 gives us negative 4 divided by negative 1 gives us 4. Okay, so negative divided by a negative is a positive. Negative 4 over 1 can be reduced to just 4. Okay, so x equals 4. So far, so good. Now, what do we do with that? Okay, we found x, but we're not done. Remember, the goal is to find the distance from L all the way to J. So think about what we have. We know that the distance from L to K is 7x minus 10. We know the distance from K to J is 28. So what can we do with this little expression right here to get rid of the x? Well, we know what x is. x is positive 4. So what we can do here is just substitute in. Instead of 7x minus 10, we can put a 7 and then open parentheses 4. We're just substituting in the 4 for the x. Close parentheses minus 10. Okay, so what is 7 times 4? Okay, 7 times 4 is 28. 28 minus 10. What is 28 minus 10? 28 minus 10 is 18. All right, so now what do we know? We know that the distance from L to K is 18, and we know the distance from k to j is 28. So now we have to just add 18 to 28 to find this whole segment length. So let's do that right now. We'll write, just to make it really clear, lk plus kj equals lj. And lk is 18 plus kj, which is 28, equals the thing we're looking for, lj. So what is 18 plus 28? All right, 18 plus 28, do the addition by hand. You add 8 and 8, you get 16, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So, the total distance from L to J is 46. All right, so we can say 46 equals L J. Okay, well, I hope that you found this video useful. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if something was unclear and hit that notification bell so you always get updates about my newest videos. Thank you very much.